techniques used for the cultivation of anaerobic bacteria. First method is candle jar method. A lighted candle is placed inside an airtight jar which utilizes almost all oxygen present in the surrounding. This is a very very simple technique. In absence of sophisticated equipment, this technique can be used. Limitations of this technique. This is a non-reliable method as some residual oxygen still remains in the jar in the surrounding air even after the lighted candle goes off. Use of alkaline pyrogallol Use of James Wright's tube James Wright was American physician. After the anaerobic bacterium has been streaked out on the surface of the agar slant, the cotton plug is trimmed and then pushed into the culture tube until it rests just above the top of the slant. The anaerobic culture in the form of the slant is inoculated with the anaerobic bacterium. The cotton is cut and is pushed down until it rests just above the slant surface. The space between the top of the cotton plug and the open end of the culture tube is filled with pyrogallal crystals and 1 ml of 10% NaOH is added. The tube is closed with rubber stopper and is immediately inverted. It is incubated upside down in order to avoid the contact between the alkali and the bacteria. The tube is kept inverted during the incubation. Third method is use of displacement of oxygen. All the oxygen is sucked using vacuum and inert gases like nitrogen, argon, carbon dioxide are filled in the vessel. Liquid media are de-aerated by continuous heating and thereafter inert gases are bubbled through them. The inert gases like nitrogen is bubbled through the liquid medium in order to displace the oxygen. Pre-reduced media are inoculated in presence of gas cannula supplying oxygen free inert gases such as carbon dioxide or nitrogen. A pre-reduced medium is inoculated with the culture of anaerobic bacterium in presence of a gas cannula supplying oxygen free CO2 thereafter the tube is incubated anaerobically. Fourth method is use of reducing agent 1% glucose, 0.1% thioglycolate, 0.1% ascorbic acid. These agents consume the oxygen by undergoing oxidation themselves and prevent oxidative damage to sensitive cells. Fifth method is use of anaerobic jars. Macintosh and Fields anaerobic jar. It is the example of jars which are used for cultivation of anaerobic bacteria. Metal lead is clamped airtight with the screw. Outlet is connected to the vacuum pump and the air is sucked out until the pressure drops to 100 mm of mercury. Electrical supply is turned on so as to heat palladinized catalyst and the palladinized catalyst activation will take place. A activated catalyst brings about reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas in presence of palladinized catalyst and there is a formation of water molecule. 2H2 plus O2 plus catalyst H2O is formed. Anaerobiasis is confirmed by the disappearance of blue color of methylene blue indicator. In anaerobatic environment, the blue color of methylene blue disappears. Gas pack sachet or envelope in presence of water generates hydrogen gas, 
which consumes oxygen from the surrounding is commonly used along with Macintosh and Fields jar. It is loaded with sodium borohydride NaBH4 which in presence of water generates Na2BO3 which is sodium metaborate and there is a formation of four hydrogen molecules. It is also loaded with sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. They react with one another forming CO2 and H2O and sodium citrate. This is the setup which is required for generation of anaerobiosis using the anaerobic jar. This is how the jar looks after the final assembly. Use of anaerobic glow boxes or sophisticated equipment for maintenance of anaerobic cultures. This is the most reliable method. It requires skillful operators. This is the schematic representation of an anaerobic chamber showing its various parts. A side air lock is provided which can be evacuated or filled with nitrogen gas. It is provided with the door, side door through which the plates and the stock cultures are kept inside the chamber. Through the inner door all the plates and the stock culture is taken into the main chamber. The operators inoculate the plate in anaerobic environment through the rubber gloves. The gas is circulated through the heated palladium catalyst in order to avoid contact of oxygen to the cells. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe.